teacher who's your twin, who's your sibling, who understands what you love and it helps you become you. But otherwise, I don't believe in education. I believe in friendships. I believe in a group like this. 35 years ago, I went to Lake Tahoe in Northern California, and Barney Conrad and Mary were there, and I fell in love with them. I fell in love with them deeply. And a year later, they said they were going to form this group. And I'm here because I made a decision based on them. I'm here because I love Barney Conrad and his wife. And I'm glad that you're here because there's a chance of you falling in love with other people here and forming groups of lovers. And you'll get together and examine stories. When I was in my 40s, a writer came to me, representing other writers in Southern California, who appeared in various anthologies. So we began to meet every two weeks for about 40 years. Some of them had luck with their writing, some of them didn't. But it was a very slow process for me. But we met every two weeks and we traded love. We paid attention to each other. We did not beat up on each other. If you read stories by your friends, be very gentle and be very loving and criticizing what you can help. But if you can find a group of people like yourself, then the next few years, meet every two weeks until you begin to sell short stories. It was a very slow process for me. I fell in love with Edgar Allan Poe when I was eight years old. He became a big influence on my life. I fell in love with weird tales. And when I was in my twenties, I began to write short stories for Weird Tales magazine. They paid me a lot of money. How much? Ten dollars a story. <laughs> my first book, Dark Carnival, came out when I was twenty-six years old. These are all my Weird Tales stories that I sold for ten, fifteen, $20 a piece. So that first book you see is a work of love influenced by word tales and by a ground power. So you see my whole life has been loving. So when I was three years old, my mother loved movies. And she took me to see my first movie that I fell in love with, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the Ron Chaney. And I saw his film the man who laughed and got slapped, and then I saw The Phantom of the Opera, and then I saw a book on dinosaurs, I saw a film on dinosaurs, The Lost World. So I fell in love with Lon Chaney, I fell in love with dinosaurs, and they changed my life forever. You see, I am where I am because dinosaurs came into my life when I was six, and Lon Chaney came in and taught me how to write strange stories about strange people. So my life evolved out of those early movies, especially the dinosaur stories. And when I was 18 years old, I met a young man named Ray Harriot, who was building dinosaurs in his garage. And he took me over to his garage, and he introduced me to his dinosaurs. And he was putting them on an eight millimeter film because he was hoping to grow up and do animated films about dinosaurs. So at the age of 18, I formed a friendship with Ray Harriot, and that's lasted for 50 years, you see. My love for Ray is immense, and his love for me is immense. And finally, when we were both 30, we made a film called The Beast from 20,000 Pat. It's not a very great film, they didn't do it right, but nevertheless, it's based on my love for dinosaurs and my love for Ray Harry Allen and his love for me. So you see, that's all I want to talk about tonight is love. Is living your life with love. It's got to be that complete.